am I happy with my nose job and my decision to get a nose job? Yes, I am very happy with my decision to get a nose job. <laughs> However, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're new here, hey. So today I will be talking about my one year post op. This is crazy that it's been a year. It has absolutely flown. It's probably because of all this lockdown malarkey. But yeah, I'll be talking about my one year post op, my experiences, everything that I have endured, gone through, the pain, the highs, the lows, and my final thoughts on my rhinoplasty with Dr. Rezat Barak Khan, which I had in Istanbul, Turkey. But before I jump into the one year post op, I will just have to give a huge, huge shout out to Anna Luisa. It is a jewellery company based in Brooklyn, New York. They are chef's kiss. Unbelievable. They are my favourite jewellery brand by a mile. They are so affordable and extremely high, ridiculously high quality and they are so unique, the pieces that they offer. They are absolutely beautiful. So they are offering a Mother's Day sale from the 12th of April, which is unbelievable because they're already so affordable and you can get a huge price off, especially it is a lovely gift for your mum, even your sister, auntie, friend for Mother's Day, mother-in-law. They are really beautiful pieces. So I'm going to show you some of the pieces just so you can see for yourself. Ignore my nails, I painted one hand and not the other because that's just how life is now. So I am currently wearing some of the pieces now, these beautiful earrings and necklace are from Ana Luisa. They are freshwater pearls. They are beautiful. I am really into classic, gorgeous French vibes and these are just exactly that. So this is called the Naomi necklace, absolutely gorgeous. You could wear it with anything, you could dress it up, wear it casual like I'm doing today and I'll show you some outfits which I will personally wear this with when I am out of lockdown and partying my life away. So this is the Naomi necklace and this currently is £43, which is amazing. Like you'd pay that price for something that's half, a third of the quality of this and it's so affordable and especially in the Mother's Day sale you can get an extra 15% off which is amazing and these beautiful earrings I've got on today are called the Sara earrings and they are £65 just standard price on the website which is amazing considering they are pearls <laughs> and also you would also get an extra 15% off and these are my favorite earrings I have ever put on my ears <laughs> in my life they are just so beautiful classy they just scream elegant which you know I love I am all about that and they are very classic timeless they will never outdate beautiful can't say enough good things about this jewellery company. The earrings I am wearing now are the Duo earrings by Ana Luisa and these are one of my favourites too because you, these are, you can wear them for the day. They are so classy, minimalistic and yet still make a statement and dress up. Any outfit you are wearing as you can see. And these are £51 on the website and these are the earrings close up. And last but certainly not least are the Azul earrings. Oh, these are gorgeous. I love earrings that have pearls with a colour with them. I either love them like this, a navy blue or an emerald green. I just think they are so timeless, effortless, classy, gorgeous. Oh, I just love them. And these earrings retail for £65 on the website, which is unreal. My mum has been loving these too. We always share jewellery and shoes and bags and 
she was absolutely over the moon when these come because these are right up her street she absolutely adores them oh perfection how beautiful is that dress oh obsessed and how gorgeous does that look just so classy elegant so just to let you know the last day to guarantee standard shipping before the 9th of may is the 3rd of may internationally so if you're in the uk like me then it would be the 3rd of may and i think it's just nice to get someone a gift i'm one of those people that love to gift people then <laughs> receive gifts and if you're like me then Trust me, this will be the perfect gift for your mothers, sisters, any loved ones or close ones in your family. They come in the cutest little pouches. I've raved about these so much before because I just think they're so personal and delicate and really good storage too. Like I always keep my jewellery in these and I'm an absolute, I'm avid for losing jewellery. I am an absolute disgrace and I feel like these are just so much easier to keep everything together and it's just personal and nice than just buying jewellery from any old place. What I do love about Ana Luisa, they have a mission, a sustainability mission, which I think nowadays is incredible. Ana Luisa are carbon neutral. 100% of the carbon emissions related to the cycle are offset. It's in this cute little cardboard box, simple, plain, just what you need. And it says made from 100% recycled paper, please continue the cycle. So I think that's really good of the brand something good for the earth. We had a dream making jewellery that doesn't come at earth's expense and it happened to thank you. Breathe easy, we are carbon neutral, which is absolutely fabulous. You should go and support this brand because they are really amazing and the team is so nice. So all pieces start from $39, which is insane. I will link everything down in the description bar if you would like to check out this brand. Last to know, you get a 365 day warranty on all jewellery you purchase. So the 15% off starts on the 12th of April. So make sure to check down below. So guys, jumping into the video, the one year post op, the thing we've all been waiting for. I've had so many messages of you guys. Please do a one year post op and it's finally here and I can't wait to spill some beans. I need a mirror to see this, by the way. I know I see my nose every single day, but I feel like I need a mirror. So if you're not already caught up to speed, you should go and check out my other check-ins of my rhinoplasty i done a initial one month one month two a eight month and now this is my one year well in fact it's a one year and one month um but let's just say for the sake of the video it's the same thing so my nose before we jump into it i'll give you a quick view just so you can see what's happening obviously i have got makeup on i don't want to scare the viewers so I have got makeup on <laughs> and I have contoured a tiny bit just because I like that look anyway regardless of how small or large your nose is and I'll stop speaking now so you can actually look at the nose so here is the front the semi side the complete side The other semi side, which is my favourite side. And the other complete side. And I'll give you a smile, just so you can see, because sometimes the nose changes when people smile. I know this is probably the creepiest thing you've ever seen, but it's just got to be done. Let's talk. So. A lot of swelling has gone down on my nose. I still believe there is some swelling in the tip because it does still flare up now and again when I do exercise. Um, but for the most part, it has gone, the swelling. I can, it's not bulky, it's not irritating, it's not itchy anymore. It's completely normal. I have always been able to breathe out my nose from day one of removing the tampons, which was a week after I, I had my rhinoplasty. I never had any issues breathing. I also never had any issues with my nose bleeding. I never had a foul smell. I had 
a healing smell which was putting all the creams up there and the salt water I had that smell but some people get a foul smell I never had that it was itchy and it was very swollen but that has subsided it subsided quite a lot um it was greasy at first my skin was very oily and that has gone now my skin's just back to normal am i happy with my nose job and my decision to get a nose job yes i am very happy with my decision to get a nose job <laughs> however i don't know if i'm just being picky right i really don't know if i'm just being picky when i first got my nose done i'll show you some pictures and you can agree to disagree or you can agree or disagree if that makes any sense probably not when i first had my nose done it was very upturned and curved which i didn't like i like how it's dropped now i do prefer a more natural slope than forced piggy slope that's just my personal preference i don't think that suits me i prefer a more natural shaped nose however i'm just letting you know no photoshop no editing nothing like that honestly this was my nose on the 27th of March so a few weeks after I had my rhinoplasty do you see cute upturned and a nice slope okay I didn't want it really upturned however which I had to start to notice I'll zoom you in when I looked to the side on that photo I had a nice cute slope which Oh, I was so happy with because I've never ever had that before. However, if you look now, I don't know if you can see it because my skin's so pale. There we go. I don't have that slope. I have a bump here. You can see it when I want to smile. See? See the bump? Now you can see it there now. However, when I go to the side, it's non-existent. But that really bugs me. It's like when I'm this, when I'm like that, it's not a smooth slope. It's sort of a bump. However, on this side, it's perfect for me. A nice natural slope. Yeah, I love it. But here, I have a bump and I can feel it's nice and smooth on this side, but it's not here. And it really irritates me if I'm honest. It really irritates me because I just wanted a nice slope nose. I didn't ask for a lot. I don't want a lot changing. I just wanted that nice slope. That was the main thing for me. I think it makes such a difference. And I love it this side. I really do. But this side, I, I, I'm just settling with it. And I know it sounds such like a first world problem. And there's so much other things going on. I'm, I'm contemplating getting a revision rhinoplasty in June if I'm allowed to fly. If everything with the government is okay, then I think I will get a revision rhinoplasty. And I'm just gonna let you guys know, I love my doctor, I think he's so nice, so genuine, and he is really skilled at what he does. Like, no one could anticipate a bump was gonna come there, like, it, do you know what I mean? So, it's no one's fault. But the only thing that I didn't like and I'm being completely honest, is I sent these photos to my doctor's assistant and I'll show you them now. It looks less on the camera now because I've got makeup on. I tried to conceal it as much as I can and the bright lights that I have, the studio lights, sort of blur any, to an extent, imperfections. But <laughs> it's horrific. It looks like I've been crying my eyes out, which to be fair, I probably, I probably did. I'll show you. It's, it's not nice. I sent these to my assistant, not to my assistant, to my doctor's assistant. And like you can see here, do you see that bump on that picture? I sent that to my assistant, like my doctor's assistant. And this one too. See how it hooks? 
it hooks over. Excuse those photos, they are absolutely disgraceful. But I sent those to my doctor's assistant and this was in the start of February. And I got, thank you for sending the photos. No response to this day. February, March, April, three months with no response. I think that's horrendous, to be honest. Like, I would just like a reply at least. So, and I was nothing but nice to my stage and I never give him any hassle, always credited him, always said how much of an amazing job he did and they couldn't have the decency to reply to me when I was freaking out about something because it was a lot more prominent then and it is still prominent but it's just because of all the aspects of the lights, the makeup, yada yada which are blaring out and it's fine from the side but it's just from the angle here like I do love my nose but I just want that this bump gone it's so much more prominent in real life and I think I want to go on the start of June that's when I've booked to get a revision depending whether we're allowed out the country or not then um, I'm not too sure but I will be getting a revision definitely I just want a nice nose <laughs> That's all I've ever wanted. Ever since I was little, I've just wanted a nose job. I just wanted a nice nose and it's just a bit disappointing because all the effort and hassle you have to go through, especially when you're getting it done in another country and then you're a bit disappointed with it. It's, um, it's not fun. And I'm not horrifically disappointed. It's just that one little, ugh, why, why me? However, I can't complain anything else about it. If you, All I can say is if you want a nice nose, you're not really bothered about a little bump or whatever, then go for it with uh, Dr. Resit. He is amazing. The team are lovely. I just thought that was a bit rude. And yeah, I, I would recommend him. He makes you feel very comfortable. He's very warm. He speaks English also, so it's not that awkward language barrier of like the unknown um, and it is a very very clean high-tech hospital everything's very very clean and you feel safe in there so I would recommend that um, however just check some of the before and after photos that look similar to your nose and see see the results basically that's all I can suggest however if you would like me to do a vlog of my revision rhinoplasty like this video and we'll try and get this video to 500 likes and if we get it to 500 likes then I will definitely do a full vlog of the trip, the doctor I will be going with, I'll reveal that soon to the time and also everything else what I am doing especially in Covid so if you would like that let's get this video to 500 likes and I will definitely film that for you guys it's not too far away now. But yeah, anyway, I feel so much more confident since I've had it done. It's not as scary as you think it is if you are thinking of doing it. At first, your nose is going to look horrific when you take that cast off, but just trust the process, honestly. My nose has gone from <laughs> literally zero to 100. Like, my nose was so swollen, fat and chunky, I looked like a panda, <laughs> Mr Potato Head, when I first got the cast off. And now it is close to perfect apart from that bump it will be my dream 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 nose because it's it is beautiful it's just when i look to the side you know when you shut your eyes and look that side's perfectly sloped and i can just see a bump here and it really stresses me out because that wasn't there around it wasn't there on the eighth month mark it's only just popped up this year i'd say so so it's just one of them. You've got to wait and see. It's a waiting game. I feel like it's been just over a year now. It's not going to go anywhere, my bump. It's not. So the only solution to that is, hey, a revision. Another tip I would also suggest is use tape. Tape, 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 tape. From month one to even two months after, a lovely girl commented on one of my 
uh, videos how to uh, it was my video how to tape your nose after a rhinoplasty uh, check it out I'll leave it down in the description bar if you do wonder how to tape your nose the accurate right way and um, she said that she still tapes her nose now and it's been 10 years and I can see why I can I completely agree with her because it just helps regardless it's just I'd do it even if I didn't have a nose job because <laughs> it just helps everything like when you sleep your face naturally swells and it just stops it so when I'm going on a night out or I want an extra snatch then I will be applying that tape and I'll link the tape in the description box that I use on my nose. No issues whatsoever, bad issues. I can breathe, I didn't have any breathing, I wasn't infected, it was all an easy ride for me like that. Even the recovery process was not as bad as I thought. The only bad thing about the recovery is the fact you can't breathe when you're trying to sleep and you have to breathe with your mouth open. But get a humidifier, it is life changing. It is a dream, a humidifier. So once you get that, that past that first week, it's a breeze, honestly, guys. Yeah, your skin might be a bit oily, but what does that matter? Like, that's nothing. I don't feel like I'm hyped in this video, but it's just that one thing that stresses me out. And I don't mean to neg you out if you are booked with him, because he is amazing. He really is. It's just that one little thing that I experience, and it really, guys, it isn't that bad at all. I'm just a psychopath and expert the perfect nose even though that's not necessarily always the case. I'm just a crank and yeah, like I said, if you would like me to film a revision rhinoplasty video when I go in June, fingers crossed if I can, then let's get this video to 500 likes. And please like, comment and subscribe, please. It really would help me out and get me to 1000 subscribers. It's nearly been a year and I'll be doing a huge giveaway. And just to thank you guys again, Thank you so much for clicking on my videos, watching them. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll just give another huge shout out to Anna Luisa. Please go and check out their website on the description bar down below. I have left everything down there so you can go and see. 15% off, guys, 15% off. And the pieces are unreal. Thank you for clicking on my video, guys. It really does mean a lot. And I shall see you next time.